Queen BJ and in today's video I will be reacting to episode 2 of the final season of Fruits Basket. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. I still pity her. No matter what, like you can, you give me a cute scene with her. <laughs> together but like at the same time like oh god I know this is gonna make me cry so much when we get into later things I'm not ready for this this is the final season and always with final seasons we go all in no matter what everything that we've been wondering since the beginning it's just huh. Mm-hmm. Yes, oh my god, have Kurt no talk in my ear more, please. Yeah, like, how the hell do you even start that topic? I mean, yeah, talk about some random stuff and be like, hey, you know, it's a keto girl. <laughs> or did you know? <sighs> Look how pretty my baby is. I love him so much. Like, ugh. <sighs> <laughs> Mommy, do you want me? <laughs> oh, so you can see her. This is something in a way that you have to keep by yourself. Mm-hmm. 
Is that the Yuki Fan Club girls? Oh my god. <laughs> Didn't those girls graduate already? Oh fuck. Mm-hmm. Y'all some crazy bitches, but you know what? That's okay. There's fangirls and then these three. Maybe you guys all should pitch in together to do it. <laughs> oh, Jesus. You got Prince Yuki fangirls and Kyo fangirls. What the? Oh, my Jesus Christ. <laughs> and then you got the rest of us either in the hot today, the Shigure. <laughs> <laughs> the colonel, <kernel>, colonel. <laughs> Hell, you know the girls who were in the Omiji fandom. Me, I'm just in everybody's fandom. <laughs> Possibly, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but it would take too much, Toru. Like, honestly, let's listen to Uo this time. <laughs> mm hmm. Yeah, because they love you too damn much, Yuki. That too. You still can't do that. You can't get close. You can get close, but only Toru close. Uh oh. Oh. Do you have one of his flowers? Moji. <laughs> Ow. Yeah, what did you want? Oh, honey. You're so sweet. Cause she likes you. Remember, you got the leave. I mean, she's possibly been in love with you for the longest time, but I think just when you gave her the leave. Oh, damn. <laughs> oh, thank you.
God, I thank you for having one of my other favorite male voice actors voice Kurino because like, oh, getting to hear his voice every single week again, like oh, after all the other shows that he did in between and that he's so crazy doing between this, like ah. <sighs> And of course, you don't want him to see you cry. Oh, yo. They were so close, they could have possibly kissed, and if they kissed, like, oh my god. Ah, got you. Oh, that chemistry between these two, I can't. Oh. No, he's actually hanging out with Akito. <laughs> Poor baby. Oh. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> mm. There she comes. You mean she?
Yeah. Mm. There are times where I have a love hate relationship with Sigourney because, like, oh, he's a silly perv, but then at the same time, like, you know, he he's very serious, and there are times where I love him and I agree with what the fuck he says, but like, oh my god, you, you. Sugar is there, isn't it? Oh, you get jealous. Yeah, but to her, it's still fresh, though, and she's still going to be jealous about it. Any woman would still be jealous about that shit. Because he didn't want to deal with you anymore! Say it, sugar. He can't say that. And it's, see, it's worse because he plays his fucking stay you. Like, oh. oh. It's not just your fault. It's both of your faults.
Mm-hmm. You might end up hurting someone again. Oh. Nah, because ever since Akito's mom says something during episode one, maybe that's the reason she's mysteriously disappeared because, you know, she's helping her mom. Mm hmm. I can't. I fucking can't. This is only episode two. And I can't with this damn show. I love this show so fucking much. Like, oh my god. Like, why are you doing this to me, damn it? Oh, god. But can we just talk about the fucking scene between Chikari and Akito? What the fuck? Like, seriously, oh my god. It can see it's worse because you get one of my other favorite male stayus to play him ever since the first damn season of the show. And I'm like, bro, you can't do this to me. Do you know that when he, like, when he talks, like, oh my god, I can't. Then you get my other favorite stayu to play Colonel. And when he talks, like, oh my god. Like, when any mm, nice, good looking male stayu talks, you feel like, yes, just, you know, take me. <laughs> But, like, oh, honestly, it was any, almost like any scene with Akito and Chikari. Right? It's very, it, it's sexual, but it's lustful at the same time. It's a little rough also as well, because they both like to toy at each other. They're, they kind of remind me, and I cannot believe I'm about to say this in a really weird way, and so I hope some of you have seen this show. It, it is old. Gossip Girl and the situation of Blair and Chuck and how everything almost was like a game to the two of them. And with this, it kind of is at moments, but then at the same time, it's not. It's just, whoa, Jesus. But yeah, can we talk about Kerno today? Like, oh my God, he looks so good. Like, uh. But the fact is, going back to, you know, um, Akito and Sugar Eye. Um, Shigure. and the fact is that yes, he slept with with someone, and so because she was upset about the fact that you know he slept with Ren, of course she's gonna be hella upset. Any woman is gonna be upset. But there, there's two different types of a female. Of what they do, they either forgive the man or the woman, whoever the fuck they're dating, or they cheat on them to get revenge on someone. So. Since I wasn't getting anything from you, I went to the next best person, a.k.a. Colonel, and I slept with him. And that's going to make you angry. And so when you get into a relationship like that, and especially when you have to, they are both in a way almost very mm, kind of alpha male. Um, or alpha male, alpha female, but they're very both dominant. You don't see it as much like with Shigure, but you see it a lot with Akito. Um, and almost like anything that she's in, especially like the hold that she ha holds over everybody in the Zodiac. And plus, you know, any moment when her and Toru are together and how Toru is like shaken, almost like how, like, okay, 
let's talk about Attack on Titan. How, like, Gabby was always like, I'm gonna defeat Aaron Yeager. I'm gonna kill Aaron Yeager. And then Aaron comes in, and this girl is fucking trembling, like, oh my god, I don't know what the fuck to do. It's like that comparison. But at the same time, you're like, oh my god. I can't. Like, the fuck that he hates. Like, my, my fucking husband, Shigure, hates my other fucking husband, Kurino. But he's still friends with, you know, Hot City, because Hot City. <laughs> Yuki's brother. This is so fucking complicated. But then it makes you wonder where Rin is during all of this. And so, yeah, the last time that we saw her, or when I saw her about two, three, four weeks ago, when I watched the dub of episode one, she was talking to Akito's mom. So, yeah, it has to be that, you know, Akito's mom wants to plot something against her own daughter. So, what I'm kind of hoping, because I don't really remember shit about this final arc and everything that we're going to go into. Some things are coming back to me, but at the same time, no. What the hell is she planning? I get the fact that she despises her own child. And it to me, as a child, and I ain't got no kids yet, if I had a child and I hated my child from, uh, from the moment he, she was born and I was that child, I would feel devastated to not know how... Someone as adorable as a baby does not know love, and then especially when they get into when they are older, um, and when you get someone who says like, "Well, why did you do this and why did you do that?" and it's like, "Well, I felt no love when I was a kid, so I had to go out and find it myself." And it's almost like what Kido has to do because her mother feels some type of way about her. So hopefully, I get like a refresh on that. And such so hopefully you know later on in this series we get something because i need a little bit more clarity on her and her mom and <laughs> why these two bitches hate each other so much but honestly like really this was a good like even though technically this is the second episode first episode because yeah the last time i saw the show this was like three four weeks ago and i was crying like during the whole damn episode over freaking everything and then also seeing my husband okurino but Jesus Christ, like, the things that are probably going to happen in this final season, it, it's going to be really, really good. I mean, you know, season one and season two are still the best, if you whether you watch them together or by itself. But this final season is where all bets are off. Anything that possibly can happen, will happen. We already know this is going to be a happy ending, and it's because, you know us manga readers and stuff but it's been a while for me but I, as someone who's read this like and just getting to that you know that happy ending that we all want it, it's gonna be really good and it's gonna be really worth it but like oh god I'm just I'm not ready to be refreshed on things that I've known for such a long time that I, I don't really remember as much now because it's been forever since I've read the series. But honestly, I, I really can't wait. It's going to be really, really good. And I, I just, I hope and pray that the relationship of Sugar A and Corino, they make up. There's a lot of, like, and I don't think I said this when I watched season one. Um, and so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say it now. There's a lot of baggage in this family and such. And yes, Toru, because she is our, you know, female protagonist and the cutest thing on <laughs> in this damn show besides my child Kisa <laughs> she she's the only one who can literally bring this family back together and have this family be a family again this whole entire the Soma family is a ticking time bomb for the past two seasons and since this is the final seasons everything is just gonna blow up in their faces but Toru was the only one who can do this and that's all I have to say. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode two of Fruits Basket, the final season. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Monday for episode three. Bye, guys.